What's up people of the internet? Welcome to Aslan Theory, the show where we adore and worship cats. So yeah, cats, the beautiful, adorable and sometimes mischievous pets that have somehow learned to live with humanity over the centuries. The relationship between cats and humans dates back to 10,000 years ago. When humans used to farm, they used to store their crops in storehouses, which were frequently visited by rodents. As come on, who would say no to free food? It was not until long where eventually, Cats showed up and tracked these rodents and made a meal out of them. Humans admired their cuteness and their service, appreciated and gave them home and shelter. So this is the brief history between cats and humans. Pretty cool history, right? But have you ever thought what would happen if one day the cats, the cherished companions in your household, gets tired of humanity, think that you are garbage and decide to rule the planet by themselves? Yes, that's absurd. But have you? If yes, how will they accomplish that? Is there even a possibility for that? What will happen to humans? So, let's take the initial question. Is there a possibility for cats to pursue world domination? Hmm, let's say that it's kinda like impossible since cats don't have the ability to reason. Now, reasoning is the act of thinking about something in a logical and sensible way. Let's take animals as a whole. If animals had the ability to reason, they would start working, create their own culture, start to fight for their rights, vote, and who knows, may even stand for presidency. Also, humans would be forced to become vegetarians, and I am not sure whether humans would like that. So first step for cats to pursue world domination is that they should get the ability to reason. As far as I know, they would not be able to get that out of thin air. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make some serious assumptions for this theory to actually work. So, I have got two proposals on how cats can get the ability of reasoning. Number one, as we have seen in the starting of this video, a crazy scientist injects a drug to cats to enhance their intelligence, similar to what they have done to apes in the movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes. So in this movie Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Bill Rodman, a scientist, is working on a cure for Alzheimer's disease, which his father Charles suffers from. The formula AZ112 is tested on apes, which gives Caesar's mother an ape enhanced intelligence. So Caesar's mother passes that intelligence on to Caesar when he's born. The company behind the drug, Genesis, begins working on a more powerful gaseous version of the drug, ALZ113. The ALZ113 serves two purposes. When apes are exposed to ALZ113, they become intelligent. When humans are exposed to ALZ113, they get sick and die. Now moving on to our cats, let's assume that a crazy scientist makes a drug that would only enhance the intelligence of cats and he injects them with it. So yes ladies and gentlemen, the first step for cats to pursue world domination is now complete thanks to our crazy scientist. So are cats ready to take over the world now? Hmm, let's see. No, I don't think so. For starters, as a catch with this assumption, you see for cats to take over the world, each and every cat on this planet must get the ability to reason. Now, is that possible? Let's check. So now, what's the population of cats? I looked at some data about cats on this website called petmedia.co and it says that more than 400 million cats live across the globe. So, it's technically quite impossible for a scientist to inject the drug into all the cats living on this planet. So Aslan, are you saying that there's no way for all the cats to get intelligence through science? Yes, theorists. There's no way all the cats can get intelligent to science unless humans themselves volunteer to inject the intelligence drug to all the cats in the world. But what if we don't require science for it? And that's an alternative. Dear friends, let's go to assumption option number two. For this assumption, we are going to take the help from one of the most powerful DC superheroes who commands a kingdom that covers three quarters of the Earth's surface, the Aquaman. In the 2018 movie Aquaman, the epic climatic battle scene of the Prime. We see that when Aquaman holds it trident, he immediately gets connected to every marine life neurological system and summons them to join the fight. This action is generally called telepathy. So what is telepathy? Telepathy is the direct transference of thought from one person to another without using the usual sensory channels of communication. In simple words, telepathy is communicating thoughts without using words or signals. Now, coming back to our question. Can all cats get the ability to reason through science? Heck no. 
But what if you used the Aquaman logic here? What if there exists a character who has similar power to that of Aquaman, which is communicating with marine life telepathically? But in our case, a character who can communicate with cats telepathically. What if someone can pass their thoughts to cats free mind alone? Some of you guys or even I hoped that Catwoman or Catman from the DC universe would have that ability. But unlike Aquaman, they do not. So is there any character that can give cats the high level of intelligence we want? It seems like the answer for this is no. But I, Aslan, does not take no for an answer. I dived deep and searched on this matter and found something marvelous. What if I say that exists a character? Actually, what if I say that exists a god who can do what we want? Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Egyptian mythology, the belief structure and underlying form of ancient Egyptian culture, which lasted from 4000 BC to 30 BC. The Egyptian mythology has gods like Ra, Osiris, Anubis, and many more. But today we are going to focus on one particular god. Dear theorists, let me present to you goddess Bastet, the daughter of sun god Ra. She was a goddess of cats and she was known to protect households and individuals from disease and evil spirits. She was represented as a woman with a cat's head. So dear theorists, we wanted a superhero like Aquaman. But what we have landed in is a god. How amazing is that? Also dear friends, we are going to make quite an assumption here. Nova in Egyptian mythology, it depicts that goddess Bastet can telepathically communicate with cats. But for a theory to work, we are going to assume that she can. Also we need a reason for goddess Bastet to turn against humanity and give cats the ability to reason so that they can take over the world. I have a scenario that would set the stage for that. Imagine some explorer like Indiana Jones, the world famous archaeological hero, breaks into the pyramids to find a rare artifact, but mistakenly awakens a curse that wakes up Goddess Bastet, who had been asleep for thousands of years. Goddess Bastet gets furious for disturbing her peace and orders all the cats to turn against humanity and go for world domination by giving them the ability to reason. Now that's one heck of a scenario. So dear theorists, cats have now received the ability to reason through divine power and now they can pursue world domination. Cats have now received the ability to reason and are on the move for world domination. But how can they actually take over the world? One idea most of you guys would have in your mind would be something like how about all the cats just slit the throats of the respective owners? At first, it would sound like a feasible idea, but it's not. Around the globe, there are more than 400 million cats in more than 1 billion households. Let's assume that all cats have been adopted by a household respectively. To make it simpler, let's assume that there are precisely 1 billion households and 400 million cats on earth, and every cat is adopted. If each cat takes the initiative to terminate every member in their respective household, then there are still 600 million households untouched. Now by checking the real population, we find that the population of humans on earth is around 7.8 billion compared to 400 million of cats. So for cats to end humanity, each cat must have an average kill of approximately around 19 humans. But I doubt that cats would be able to accomplish that because they are severely outnumbered. Also we need to notice a main point here. Even if all cats kill their respective owners, there will still be no change in power because who has the power to run a country? The government. Sure, cats killing humans would be a worldwide issue, but still, there will be no change in the control the government is holding. Well, we have all seen videos of cats showing their ninja ability. And now with the ability to reason, we can say that they have become fearsome warriors. If they declare war on humanity, will they be able to win? Hmm, sadly no, they won't. You see, humanity has something that the cats don't, which is technology. Cats may have got super intelligent but they would have no idea about using technology. Consider a war that breaks out between humans of the Bronze Age and modern humans. Show that the humans of the Bronze Age are fearsome hunters, but they would lose terribly because modern humans have the power of technology, modernized weapons. So if cats and modern humans fight, cats would be like the early humans, no idea of using technology and thus lose. Even if war actually breaks out between humans and cats, humans literally are not required to go and fight the war on the actual battlefield. Why you might ask? Because humans have drones and robots. Humans can send drones and robots with an algorithm that scans and identifies cats with their features and terminate them. Humans can send a cat suicide robot to a cat's main control base and I'm not sure whether cats would even be able to find out that it's fake. So if a war breaks up between humanity and cats, there are zero chances for the cats to win. So, 
Cats can't kill all humans. If they engage in a war, they won't be able to win. Considering all that, it seems like all odds are against them. By now, many of us would have concluded that cats can't go through humanity to gain power. Or is there a chance? So how can cats take over the world? Ladies and gentlemen, let me reveal it to you. The key for cats to overthrow humanity is by doing nothing. As loyal theorists, you heard it right. Cats can take over the world just by doing nothing. I know what you guys are thinking. Wait, what, Aslan, have you gone crazy? How can cats take over the world by doing nothing? That's impossible and insane. To all those who are having these questions, hear me out. What if I say the mere absence of cats doing what they do on a daily basis in everyday life would lead to two of the biggest problems the world has ever seen, disease and famine. For you to first understand this concept, you need to know what would happen to a world where there are no cats. Experts say that if all cats in the world suddenly died, things would quickly go to hell in a hand basket. You might be thinking that cats, both domestic and stray, depend upon us for food, but that's not true. According to Alan Beck, Professor of Veterinary Medicine and Director of the Centre for the Human Animal Bond at Purdue University, Indiana, cats are expert predators with adaptable hunting behaviours. They are a significant predator of small animals and can survive as almost solitary animals. So cats are vital for keeping pests such as mice and rats in check. Most of you guys hate rats and think that they are gross, but how gross? Put it this way, one rat alone carries thousands of pathogens on just one centimeter of its fur. And any one of these pathogens could be the reason for your death. But what are your chances of getting sick? Well, if you look at the rate rats reproduce, the odds are highly stacked against you. One pair of rats can produce over 2,000 offsprings per year, which means that with 3 years, the same couple could have over a half a billion blood-related descendants. This isn't an infestation, it's an epidemic. So how dramatically would the rodent population increase if cats suddenly vanished? A 1997 study in Great Britain found that the average house cat brought home more than 11 dead animals, including mice, birds, frog and more, in the course of 6 months. That means the 9 million cats of Britain were collectively cleaned close to 200 million wild specimens per year, not including all those they did not offer up to their owners. A study in New Zealand in 1979 found that when cats were nearly eradicated from a small island, the local rat population quickly quadrupled. So let's say you can escape the hospital by not getting sick, but you can't evade famine. Do you know that there's a reason why farmers keep one cats? You see, rats don't just go behind cheese, they almost go behind everything. Without cats, rats would be abundant and abundant rats require plentiful food to feed on. If rats' population increases, there will be a total collapse in our agriculture system and with the scarcity of food and epidemic, humans will be forced to slouch for scraps, kind of like rats. Now last but not least, don't forget about the emotional toll it would have on humans. Humans treat cats as their closest ones and some even call them as their children. While there are more dog-owing households 38% than cat-owing households 34%, there are more domestic cats than dogs because cat owners tend to own more of them. Cats as pets have always been appreciated for the contact, relatively low maintenance and pedomorphic childlike face and general morphology. To cover up all, the absence of cats would drive humans insane. Now, we have seen what the absence of cats would do to the world. So let's see how this information would help the cats take over the world. We found out that the absence of cats would cause disease, famine and cuteness to draw into the world. For cats to take over the world, they need to end humanity or reduce their population. Cats now have the ability to reason thanks to God as plastic. So they should start thinking like a strategist. A simple strategy would help them to achieve their goal of taking over the world and that is by doing nothing and that is by stopping to hunt rodents like mice and rats. This would drastically increase the population of rodents and the end result would be disease and famine which would lead to humanity's demise and after that cats encrown themselves as the king of earth. To summarize cats pursuit for world domination, what they need to do is first, get intelligence through scientific means or mythological means. Second, do nothing, that is don't kill rodents. Third, after humanity's demise due to the disease and famine, they can now crown themselves as the king and the new ruler of planet earth. But hey, it's just a theory. I'm Aslan and thank you for watching.
If you guys like this video, do feel free to share and comment on what you think about cats taking over the world. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It will help my channel to grow a lot. So yeah, that's it, and see you guys in my next video.